So Roku is a, a company that's been going for uh, just over two years, I think, um, and it is focused on social gaming. And interestingly, amongst uh, many of the Chinese companies here, uh, it is already uh, making progress uh, in foreign markets. Um, 谢谢。我们能用中文吗？哦，对对对，用中文。所以第一个问题就是介绍。Well, the first question is a brief introduction of Roku. Speaking of Roku, I think most of you present are not so familiar with it, but you might know very familiar about its growth. The valuation of Roku will exceed. Around uh, 20 billion US dollar, US dollar. Riku was established by the end of 2007, and started social gaming in the beginning of 2008. So within less than three years, we actually started to focus on uh, the Asian market. But now, and now we have already gained some market share in Japanese market. In June and July, with the Tencent opening platform, we have also a lot of products to uh, be a leader in Tencent market. And now we are actually uh, heading towards the direction of the development of Vizinga. An Asian company. In these two years, we have mainly focused on the following things. First is we uh, actually produced social gaming and uh, have some leisure gaming like uh, the uh, farming games and so on. And now in the Asian market, we have around 120 million customers registered customers or clients, a monthly clients of 20,000. With the development of Tencent market in China, I think this figure is going to increase very rapidly. And second, as a Chinese company, we are taking a leading position in the Japanese market. We have a very uh, famous product that is Sunshine Ranch. This is a, a family, a very familiar game all over Japan with around 7 million users in Japan. One fifth of the social gaming users are playing this game, which have consolidated our position as a leader in Japan market. What was mentioned is that we beat it. Uh, Bazinga in Japan, because Bazinga also established its branch office in Japan, but the throwbacks, uh, three uh, products of them have been outpassed by us. So this is what we are really proud of. And this year, we are going to focus on the Tencent market in China. We like to take a leading position in, the, in, in that market. As we all know, Tencent as a social networking platform, the, the biggest in China, its users actually exceeded that of Facebook. So the social gaming on the Tencent platform is very popular. The active user per month is around 400 to 500 million. So this is actually very, very huge number. As a advanced uh, gaming developer in China, we hope in the future, through our products and service, we can take a leading position there. In Japan, as a Japanese company, uh, in, in Japan as a Chinese company, it's, it's difficult for you to actually succeed. How can you make it? I think we can succeed in Japan. This can be attributed to the following factors. The first is as the earliest social gaming developers in China, we are the first to produce the Sunshine Ranch gaming. So this is quite rare at that time. Once the opportunity has been seized by us, then it's 
the reason why we succeed. But once you lose it, you'll never get it. And second is the localization of social games. We have some practices and explorations in this aspect. For example, the research system of social gaming in Japan is mainly controlled by Japan. So we actually find the best developer and manufacturer of, in Japan and let him to help us. Um, our competitors also uh, several products in Japan, which is quite, uh, quite which are quite similar to us. That is, the headquarters make the order, which is to be executed by the Americans in the United States. So these products were not for popular in the local Japan. The mistakes we we have also made such mistakes. So we changed our strategies later. We have also another advantage. That is, we are both Asian companies with the Oriental civilization. So, in grabbing the Japanese market, may, we might find feel more uh, comfortable and uh, easier. So, these two factors are actually what makes us very successful in Japan. To also have plan to go into the Western markets, like in the United States. As for the Western markets. Actually, in 2000 and in March or April in 2009, we have got this. We have uh, started to explore the American market, but after a period of exploration, where we adjusted our strategy. Um, and we find that the European market are not a market we're good at. So, as a creative companies. Uh, we hope that we can have a competitive advantage in a big market. So we give up this European market and stop this gaming for Facebook and put reach and change our focus to China, Japan, and Korea. Actually, we lost a lot. However, due to our strategy, then we also gained a lot. We gained a, a huge success in Chinese market and the Japanese market. This shift of our strategy reflects our original vision. We will focus on Asian market. Although there are many opportunities in the European and U American market, however, in the long term, Asian market is the destination for our long term development. And now we are the market leaders in this Chinese, Chinese and Japanese market, and this is quite good for us. So you, you, your games are put on the platforms for Tencent, and how about the other SNS in China? Actually, in China, there are several major SNS like uh, Ren Ren, Kai Xing, and other uh, small SNS. But we think that Ten Tencent is the market leader in SNS market in China. It covers all those major SNS customers. If we want to do uh, social games, we must cooperate with Ten Tencent. So our strategy in Chinese market is quite clear. We have products for Ren Ren. However, our our focus is on Tencent, and our most up to date product will be delivered on this Tencent platform. We hope that we can get a large market share in the market of Ten Tencent. And then we will continue to focus on this market. What's your innovative strategy? How can you encourage your designers and the producers to achieve innovation? It is a good question. Actually, we understand 
the market well, the and the investors' understanding of social games. Because as a game company, can you, how can you guarantee that you can always produce good quality products? How can your products become successful all the time? If you cannot be, you cannot succeed. Maybe you will be like the other traditional gaming companies. They cannot achieve high valuation because the lacks of uh, innovation in a in a long run, in a long term. So we will see our, uh, this market as a standard IT industry. So you need to keep our innovation. So when we plan our R&D and operation system, we learn a lot from Zynga. Our R&D system is quite similar to Zynga. We, at first, we will attract the most, uh, the best talents in this industry, and form small studios in our, in Roku, and they have the right to, uh, to produce their own games, and they will have this uh, stimulus package uh, for those successful games, and if those games. Cannot, uh, didn't pass the audit of our B BA department. That that studio will be phased out. Phased out. We have a really strict phasing out system. And in the meantime, I think uh, we have a very complete BA system. Like think uh, it's uh, it's the leader in China's gaming industry. With this system, we we can predict that which product can be successful and which will uh, achieve, won't be successful. And then we phase out those uh, bad products and continue to optimize our products. For this kind of systems <coughs> and R and D. System, they guarantee that our website can pro can deliver new products continuously. Uh, this year we will deliver uh, quite a lot of products, and then you will see our capability to produce new products. So this BI uh, system, business intelligence system, is done by yourself, right? What kind of program is that? Actually, we we did it ourselves. Uh, however, we learned a lot from uh, uh, Zynga, and we did a lot of survey, and with our practical experience from R&D, and we developed this system. This, and we have a BI uh, group to to do this system. And for this uh, program, it can build a model and it can quantitatively an analysis a social game to say whether it is good or bad. And for instance, its capability to earn money, uh, whether to be easily to be attacked by viruses and other index. We have many detailed index in this BI system. So uh, when we put this game under this system, it can be a numerical model, and this can give us a very accurate evaluation. When, when this game is publicized, it's delivered, we will, we will observe the behavior of our users and to show their, their life their interest, and this will help our uh, technical person to optimize this product. So this is our, so this product 
is after our careful consideration in this of this industry. How many games have you done since now? Uh, now we have five to six games in Chinese market and the Japanese market. Uh, we hope that every year we can deliver six to eight games, like for every quarter that's one or two games. And what's your plan for smartphones? We have three strategies. One is Japan strategy, second China strategy, third is smartphone strategy. We are the first company to form a smartphone team. Because in in Japan market, we know it is quite a mature mar market, and we need the, the, this uh, mature market to drive us to do this. We first entered the Japanese market, and we found the advantage lies in that Japan Japanese market is quite mature. Uh, we gain a lot of experience from that market, and our technology get improved, and in domestic market, and in some other immature market, maybe we do not have those experience gained. And the China, uh, Japan's uh, cell phone market is quite mature, and the smartphone market it develops rapidly. This. Forces us to deliver smartphone products quickly. We started in 2008, and now we have delivered several products in the smartphone market. And all this uh, experience and the technologies we gained in Japanese market can be applied in the Chinese market. And this smartphone strategy will be our core strategy. And the last question, in the coming five years, and what's your major plan? Actually, before, before Roku, I have several years of entrepreneurship in this internet industry. At that time, I did a social game in for cell phones, for cell phones, and so now when I started Roku, that's my old business. Why, uh, in two years, we can achieve this scale, scale, and all, and this lot of products and uh, product lines? I think this is due to the trend of this online online games. It's not that we are doing that good. It's due to the big trend in this market. The trend is that in this online market, it has a trend of socialization. Maybe all the online games, uh, those players tend to play with their friends. The secondly, this the cloud terminal. Realization of those online games, which means that I do not need to download all those uh, customer terminals. I can get all those games online. Third is this opening trend, open trend. This is due to the division of labor in this industrial chain. Like for those uh, social platforms, they are doing customers, and for us, we're focusing on product. That we can, with our professional, uh, professional uh, talent, we can do it better. And some people they think that Baoxue is quite successful. Actually, Baoxue targets at a niche market. They have. Uh, 10 million paid players worldwide. However, with these online games, they can cover a uh, quite a large market. And now we entered the net era of uh, everybody play games, plays games. And uh, the other trend is that the mobile trend for those on online games. And those uh, customers, they can use their spare time to play games. So for social gaming, it is not a minor branch for online games. We think it will be the mainstream for online games. When I 
some of my friends will say that Zinger they have like one million dollars of valuation, and they say there's a lot of bubble inside. However, I think that its PE is not that high. There is not that much bubble in Zinger. When you look back, like in three or five years, you can say that it's uh, it overtakes We and uh, Bao Xue. I think this is a trend when many users they use SNS to get into to connect into the internet, and all those online games will become uh, social games. So we're doing a revolutionary thing, and I think it's worth our effort, and we hope that we can get all those talents in this industry and can pro and can deliver better products and can be thinker in Asia. Thank you. Thank you very much.